And uh, over the weekend, some body camera video has surfaced, posted by the Plunder True Crime uh, podcast over on YouTube. And, and the video shows Lindsay Shiver and her husband, Ar Robert, arguing over the use of their private plane. And on that same day, that's the day she allegedly sends that kill him text to her boyfriend. Let's watch some of that back and forth between the two of them on body camera video. What's going on this morning? So for the last three weeks, maybe longer, she's had her couple's trip planned with her boyfriend to go to Key West. Okay, she just said you're going. I'm going to Key West. I'm taking my kids, my three boys, to the Bahamas this morning. Our kids. Our kids. Yesterday, she sent a message saying that she's going to change her plan and I'll get on the airplane with the kids to go to the Bahamas. Uh, and when we uh, land, she's going to go to her boyfriend. Elsewhere. And me and the kids are going to our house. And I told her I'm not supporting that. And you're not getting on the airplane. That can mess with the kids' heads. And it's just something we're not going to do. Well, I own 50% of an airplane. She, on paper, owns 25 of that. And majority owner, or the other 50% owner, and myself were both in agreement to not have her on the airplane. So 75% says we don't want you on the plane. That doesn't mean you get aggressive, push me out of the way, start unloading my car. Push you out of the way? Yes, at the back of the car. Okay, Lindsay, I do not push you or anything. He doesn't want me to go. I raised the back to grab my kids' suitcases. So With a locked leave. car. So we can leave. All of it. I'm going to tell you both, like I told you a minute ago, y'all have filed for divorce, okay? In situations like this, the best thing that we always recommend is y'all separate. Hmm. So this was uh, the two of them in front of two officers uh, as they uh, tried to use their private plane and uh, go on separate vacations, one with the kids, one with uh, their new lover. Let's talk more about this very sticky situation with uh, Marsha Minow. She's a former prosecutor, criminal defense attorney. Marsha, this seems like... Um, it just got out of hand, and, and um, the case against Lindsay is these text messages, WhatsApp messages that were just sort of, they were found during another investigation. Um, how strong is this case from what we know, in, in that there's a text message, uh, a message from her to her lover, um, a, a picture of her husband saying, kill him. Is that enough of uh, to to say that there was a specific plot in uh, to to actually kill him, or could this be, have been an emotional person after that fight that we just saw on the body camera? I always say you have to have context with a text, and in this situation, it's going to depend on the context. Was their correspondence prior to that text message being sent? Was it being sent in a jovial manner? Was she in an emotional rage because she had called the police and the police came out and literally didn't really do anything other than say, you all need to separate? It is so much that needs to be un investigated as it pertains to these text messages. It sounds as if they knew that their marriage was ending. Um, it's not a surprise because her husband is mentioning in that body cam video a boyfriend and she's trying to clarify and it sounds like they didn't want her on the flight because they knew she had moved on or has some type of relationship with a boyfriend. So it's so much, Ted, that the police has to go into and a text message alone is not gonna do it. The, uh, let's listen to more of the body camera video um, talking about this, uh, this luggage uh, that uh, supposedly was being moved uh, by uh, Robert. Let's listen. So he can get the kids' stuff out of my car. It's marital property. And I don't have any paperwork saying that he's not allowed access to the children's property. He's just not able to move me out of the way to get it. So right, now, I'm, so now right. I'm able to get my kids' stuff back out of the vehicle. Okay, why are we doing this, though? Why, why do you need to do that? Well, because he's taken my kids. So we're going to go back and so we're going to stand here while y'all go back and forth moving suitcases back and but forth between cars. So that's what's just happened. 
if that's what you feel like you need to do, then then I, I mean, then by all means do it. But you understand that it's making the situation worse, and you're doing it in front of the children now. Marcia, the the marital things are very um, ugly, and this this body camera that, that surfaced again over the weekend, um, it just shows the depth of their relationship. <clears throat> Does it work for or against the 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 prosecution in this case? Uh, because everybody can relate to th that th the turmoil uh, that um, it with it is within a an interpersonal relationship. And to your point earlier, it doesn't necessarily mean um, the end game that there was a real murder plot hatched. Because this video footage that we're looking at shows two people whose relationship is falling apart and unfortunately their children are becoming collateral damage in the fight. It's not uncommon. People across the United States fight over children, fight over property, and fight over relationships on a regular basis. That in and of itself does not mean that you are planning or you have conspired to murder your spouse. Now, it may be connected to it because the relationship is ending. And if you use this as a prosecutor to show the relationship is ending, this is circumstantial evidence that she had had it. She can't control the children. She wants the children. She wants the house. She wants the private plane. And that's the motive behind the text message. Absolutely, a prosecution can use that. But defense counsel can kick in and say, this is two people fighting over children, property, and there's nothing associated with a plot to murder someone here. Here, let's listen to some more. They're talking about their relationship on this body camera to uh, the officers who are just standing there watching this unfold. <laughs> the more I watch this video, it's like, okay, rich people, uh, you know, get it together. Uh, it's, it seems like a huge waste of resources for those responding officers. And that might translate in front of a jury or whatever uh, judge in the Bahamas at the end of the day um, where it might turn into, like, you know, just go away, people. Because it, I, I don't know. What's your take when you, when you watch this video and you know what we do know, which isn't a ton, about the case against her. What do you think? The law enforcement is in a bad situation in, that, in, in this video. And the reason I say that is nothing has escalated to the level of a crime. However, it could. You could come to a property, respond, no one's hurt, no one's bleeding, nobody's caused any problems, nobody's damaged anything. And as an officer, the only thing you could do is recommend that the parties separate. And that's what you see this officer recommending, that she not take a family trip or go on vacation with someone that this type of level of dispute and they've already filed divorce is going on because it's going to lead to disaster. So it sounds like mom wants to go with the children and with dad to go on vacation because in her mind she's over with in a relationship and dad's like, you're not going anywhere with us. So you are correct. It has a level of, you know, we're wealthy, we're in this fancy home, and we can't get along, and now we're wasting law enforcement's time. We're trying to resolve our fight about where the suitcases should be and which private jet we should take. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack.
no pun intended, uh, in this one. Uh, we'll see as it progresses here. She remains in the Bahamas. She's out on bail, uh, has to stay there, though, um, before trials. And uh, we'll continue to follow it.